welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Lone Ranger, original air dates June 10th, 1946, and the title is The Trigger Kid's Nemesis. Fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Oh, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm Silver! There were two reasons why Ed Rockwell rode from the little town of Blue Falls to neighboring Canyon City. One was to have some printing done. The other, to release the gunman known as the Trigger Kid from jail. Upon his arrival, he hitched his horse and walked into the sheriff's office. Good morning, Sheriff. Howdy, stranger. What's on your mind? Sheriff, I understand you got the trigger kid behind bars. You can just bet your life on that. The whole town's mighty grateful, too. Why, that owl who's one of the meanest critters in the West. I know. Uh, It's just too bad I couldn't have got him for something more than disturbing the peace. When he comes storming into town with two guns blazing, my men and I nailed him before he could do any serious damage. What's the sentence? One year in jail or five hundred dollars fine. I see. He didn't have the five hundred on him, so we slapped him in jail. He'll stay here for the whole year. Well, Sheriff, I hate to disappoint you, Hmm? but there's five crisp new one hundred dollar bills that say he won't. Five hundred dollars? There it is, right on your desk. But uh, I don't understand. Sheriff, I'm paying the trigger kids fine. Say now, I... You sure that you know what you're up to? Doesn't the law say he's to serve a year in jail or pay his fine? Why, yes, of course. All right, you've got the fine. Let him out. Well, I guess I got no choice in the matter. You're within the law. Hey, Trigger, wake up. Uh, What do you want? Some hombre out here just paid your fine. A fine? That's right. Come out of that cell. Who paid my fine? 
Where is he? Mr. Fuller, right here. He's the one. Howdy, Trigger. Howdy. Mm. Don't seem any too happy to see him. Don't you worry about that, Sheriff. Well, this sure is mighty strange. Sheriff, why don't you just mind your own business? I'm trying to. There's certain jobs go with being a lawman that I can't say I relish. Letting a mean critter like you out of jail is one of them. I'm mighty sorry for you. Now, where's my gun? I'll get them for you. I was hoping they'd have time to cool. Here they are. Now, what about my horse? The horse is right across the street at the livery. Just show them this receipt for the fine. You'll get your horse. All right, mister. Let's get out of this calaboose. I'm ready. All right, mister. What's your story? Well, first let me introduce myself. My name's Ed Rockwell. Rockwell, huh? Mm Mm-hmm. My partner, Jack Dawson, and I are in business over in Blue Falls. Go on. We've got a fast job for a man like you. That's why I paid you fine. I see. And for that, you want me to... Now, don't jump at conclusions. You owe me nothing. I paid you fine, and I'm ready to top that with another $500. Now you're beginning to talk sense. What kind of business are you in? We're operating a land office. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no. (laughs) Not if you own the property you sell. Trouble is, we don't. Someone's wise to your game? We're not sure yet, but we can't afford to take chances. I see. Dawson and I opened our office three weeks ago. Looked like we could clean up fast, skip town before anyone caught on. That is, it didn't till last night. Go on. Old Dad Worth, the Blue Falls Sheriff, paid us a little visit. Very interesting. As soon as the old cuss walked in, I knew we were in for a pack of trouble. He slammed the door hard as he rushed in. Howdy, Sheriff. What's on your mind? Boys, I'm not going to bandy words. I'll get right to the point. Yeah, well, what's wrong, man? As soon as you two hit town, I knew I'd seen you somewheres before. It took a bit of rummaging through my files, but I finally caught up with who you really are. Well, now, now, well, now, wait a minute, we... We're in a legitimate business. You haven't had anything on us. I've been the law here long enough to grow mighty attached to the place. My job is to protect the citizens and their property. Now, if you're hiding any shady plans behind this deal, I'll personally see to it that you're locked up for the rest of your lives. Well, now, you don't have to worry, Sheriff. <clears throat> when we got out of prison the last time, we uh, decided to go straight. That's right. Well, as long as you two keep your business on a legal basis... Everything's going to be all right. I'll keep all I know about your past strictly confidential, just as long as you play fair. That's you. That's fine, Sheriff. But remember, if you pull anything crooked, I'm closing in. We won't be any trouble. Uh, one more thing. If you should ever think of knocking me off, forget it. In case I should happen to get shot, there's some secret documents on file that would be dragged out. If you two didn't have a mighty good alibi, things might go bad for you. Remember... I'll be keeping my eye on you. The old man's got you hogtied, huh? Trigger, if he should get wise to us now, we'd be in a heap of trouble. And you want me to put him out of the way? That's right. Uh huh. I'll take a hundred in advance. Fine, fine. Here's the hundred. You get the rest when the job's done. What's the first move? Well, I have to take care of a printing order here in town. It may take some time. You go on ahead and see my partner. Right. Now look, our office is easy to find. Take the back trail. And as you pull into Blue Falls, it's the first building to your left. Now, is everything clear? The only thing you have to worry about is that $400 you're going to owe me very soon. It was several hours after Ed Rockwell embarked on his mission to Canyon City. There had been sufficient time for him to get the trigger kid out of jail and send him to Jack Dawson. The latter was pacing the office floor in anticipation of the kid's arrival as a masked man and an Indian rode the back trail into town. They were the Lone Ranger and Tonto, his faithful Indian companion. Tonto, this town's changed a lot since our last trip. Ah, it grow plenty. I want to look the place over, and we'll ride out and find a spot to camp. Ah. Uh-huh. This first building on the left seems to be new. Ah, uh-huh. same say Dawson Rockwell, land agent. Yes, I see. Kimasabi. Someone come out that door. Yes, Tonto, he sees my mask. Hey, kid. Oh, Tonto, call you. Yes, he said kid. Hey, Trigger, over here. Uh, this is the place. Tonto, he thinks I'm someone else. 
Oh, 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 Better stay here in the back room. I wouldn't want to be caught with a trigger kid in my office. No, I, I don't blame you. Um, you uh, sure have a lot of nerve riding right into town with that uh, that mask and all. I'm used to it. Yeah, have a chair, won't you? Thanks. Yeah. You know, I'm uh, kind of nervous about this job my partner and I have got lined up for you. We're um, really counting on you. That's all right, Mr... Now, let's see. Which one are you now? Well, I'm Dawson. Uh, you talk to Rockwell. Oh, yes, yes. All right, Mr. Dawson. Let's get down to business. Yes, yes. Um, uh, as you know, Ed went over to the Canyon City to pay you a fine so you could uh, uh, put Sheriff Worth uh, out of the way for us. Go on. Um, well, uh, Ed and I were mighty worried when that meddling old lawman tore in here last night and threw our past at us. Uh, just when we were getting set to swindle this town good and proper. Uh, yes, I uh, suppose you were. We uh, decided right then he had to be uh, uh, put out of the way. Uh, then when we read about you being in jail for want of a hundred dollar Fine. Uh, uh, we uh, decided you were uh, our man. Uh, I see. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This uh, should be easy pickings for a, a man like you. How soon do you want him out of the way? Tonight. That's fast. Uh, it'll be easy. The old man lives right in the jail. You won't have to track him down. Well, I guess tonight will be as good as any, Otello. Uh, that's right. Uh, say, I, I didn't know the trigger kid traveled with a redskin. Oh, Dawson, there's a lot you don't know. As the crook unfolded his scheme, the masked man formulated a plan of his own to counter Dawson's efforts. Realizing that trigger kid should be putting in an appearance... The Lone Ranger lay in wait behind Dawson's office. It's getting dark now. Yes. Kid should pull up soon. Ah. We must stop him before Dawson sees him. For the time being, I want to be the trigger kid. Kim Sabi. What is it, Thomas? Lost count. Yes, I hear it now. Maybe that trigger fellow. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Toto. Ah. Find where you are. What the? Toto. Get his guns. Uh, me get him. Hey, you and this redskin are taking on quite a job. I'm over here, away from that door. All right. I'm away from the door. I take it you're the trigger kid. I never deny it. Tonto, tie his hands. Uh, you can't get away with this. I'm still. Just what's your game, anyhow? I'm putting you out of the way so you won't kill the sheriff. You're loco. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, you finished? Uh-huh. Him tight, plenty tight. And let's get started. Uh-huh. Hey, where are you taking me? We have a cave where we're going to put you until we're ready to send you back to jail. Shortly after the Lone Ranger and Tonto captured the trigger kid, Ed Rockwell returned to Blue Falls. Jack Dawson, his partner, was alone in the office when he entered. Evening, Dawson. Well, Ed, uh, that was a fire strip. I finished with the printer as fast as I could. I was anxious to hear how you got along with the kid. Uh, we got along fine. I mean, he's uh, a lot different than I thought he'd be. Different? What do you mean? Oh, you know, the way he looks and acts. Uh, I guess I hadn't thought much about it. Well, tell me, is he going to knock off the sheriff? It looks like tonight's the night. Hmm. Say, <laughs> that's fast work. Well, with two of them, they shouldn't have any trouble. Oh, wait a minute. What's wrong? Did you say two of them? Yes, the kid and the Indian. Indian? What Indian? Uh, he's part uh, uh, Tonto, I think the kid called him. Tonto? Did you say Tonto? Yes, what about it? What the kid look like? Oh, no, Ed, you're acting loco. Calm down. Answer my question. What the kid look like? He was tall and wore a black mask. Oh, jumping Jupiter, a tall man with a mask. Now, Ed, what's wrong? What did you see his horse? What did it look like? It was big, white one. Look, uh, you didn't talk to the trigger kid. I didn't talk to him. Well, then who well, did you've I... been tricked. Now we're really in for it. You stupid blundering now idiot. stop you... screaming. You... Tell me who I talked to. Oh, you fathead. There's only one man in the whole West answers that description and travels with the Redskin. He's the Lone Ranger. The, the, the Lone Ranger. Uh, 
We, uh, we've got to uh, do something about that. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. As Ed Rothwell and Jack Dawson talked, they discovered that the man Dawson had taken for the trigger kid was in reality the Lone Ranger. The two crooks were frightened at the thought of being trapped and convicted by the famous masked rider. Look, Dawson, we've got to do something quick. I know, I know. I told that masked man the whole plan. He knows all about us, what we're planning to do. We've got to try to stop him. If he gets to the sheriff, it's curtains for us. Let's clear out of here before it's too late. Oh, that won't help any... That Lone Ranger would track us down no matter where we went. Uh, then what do we do? We've got to think of something. We've got to put ourselves in the Ranger's shoes for a while. Well, what are you talking about? If I were the Lone Ranger and was mistaken for the trigger kid, first thing I'd do would be to get the kid out of the way. Yes, that's it. He's probably waylaid the kid and put him away. Which way to go after he left the office? I couldn't rightly say. Went out the back door. I didn't pay any attention. He put two and two together. He knew the kid would be coming in that way. Come on out in the back. What are you up to? Have a look around out back here. Come on. What do you expect to find out here? I'm looking for prints. Then I'd better get a lantern, eh? Oh, never mind. The moon's full. That's enough to see. Look, Jack. Yeah, what is it? There's the tracks of three horses here. And it looks like three men have been stomping around. Yeah. Well, I got your ride. Yeah, I was right. Lone Ranger and his Indian pard hid out until the kid came up and then they captured him. Yep, that's the way it looks. And look, the hoof prints lead straight over to the back trail. Yeah, but by golly, that's right. Looks like they've taken the triggered kid up into the hills. There's a uh, lot of caves up there. They might be hiding out. Jack, uh, I'm going to get my horse and follow these prints and see where they lead. Yeah. Trailing the Lone Ranger is pretty risky business. It's the only thing to do. We gotta stop him before he gets to the sheriff. What do you, what do you want me to do? You stay right in the office. Uh, if anyone asks for me, just say I haven't got back from Canyon City yet. Suppose that uh, mass man should uh, return. Uh, what then? Try to keep him in the office. Now, don't let him out of your sight. Don't uh, let him uh, out of my. Uh, Yes, i uh, do everything I can. All right. Now i got to get started. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, with their prisoner, were far ahead as Ed Rockwell followed the trail. They left the trigger kid tightly bound in a cave, then took a shortcut into town. Tiger feller out of way. Yes, we tied him tight enough so he couldn't possibly free himself. Ah, We'll keep him in that cave until we trap Dawson and his partner. Ah. And what we do now? We're paying the sheriff a visit. Oh, jail over there. Yes. Taking the shortcut, we didn't have to pass Dawson's office. Ah. We'll pull up here. Oh, who's got no better? Who's over? Who? who? Uh, down. Down. Plenty quiet tonight. Yes, just as well. Steady, big fella. That way we won't be seen. Good evening, Sheriff. What? Why, you're masked. And an engine. I don't be alarmed. We're friends. Friends, eh? Yes, that's right. And why don't you take off that mask and show your face? Sheriff, I've come to warn you that your life is in danger. 
My life? Yes. There's a plot against it. The Trigger Kid has been hired to put you out of the way. Trigger Kid? How do you know? Because a man named Jack Dawson mistook me for the kid because of my mask. Jack Dawson. Huh? Told me the whole plan. So that's it. He and that no good part of his are scared of me. They know good and well they can't kill me themselves, so they've hired a professional gunman to do the job. That's right, Sheriff. Now, wait a second. How in thunder do I know you're telling the truth? You'll have to take my word for it for the time being. My life at stake, I'm not taking the word of no mask man. I don't like you... Uh, then uh, perhaps this will help identify me. Why, that's a silver bullet you put on my desk. Yes, that's right. My golly, I've been a lawman for a good many years. I've heard a lot about you, the good work you do. You are the Lone Ranger. Now, will you listen to me? You can just bet your boots I'll listen. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Go on, talk. Well, I have a plan that will catch those crooks. Good. Let's hear it. You see, Dawson thinks I'm the trigger kid. Mm. But suppose a real trigger kid comes along. What then? He's already arrived. Hot and I tied him up in a cave. Well, I'll... Sheriff, be... uh, you're going to have to do a little acting. Acting? Yes. I'm going over to Dawson's office and tell him the job he hired me for is done. Then I'll invite him over to view the body. So you want me to act the part of a dead man? Hmm. <laughs> Guess that shouldn't be too odd. We'll fix things so they look realistic. What he says when he sees the body will give you enough proof to put him out of the way. Hey, golly, that's a mighty good idea. Then we'll round up his partner and the trigger kid. I'm all for that. Let's get started. <laughs> was some time later. The Lone Ranger and the sheriff had laid their plans. Everything was about ready to trap Dawson and Rockwell. At the other end of town, Dawson, following his partner's instructions, was sitting in his office. <coughs> uh, hello, I mean, who, who is it? Me, Jack. Oh, howdy, Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Who's the hombre with you? Jack, this is the real trigger kid. Howdy. Where'd you find him? Out of the hoof prints. Led to a cave not far above town. You mean Trigger was there all alone? I sure was. That meddling fool of a masked man stopped me, and that engine of his tied me so tight I could hardly breathe. Where's he and his Ritzky now? Yeah, they left after they hogtied him. Looks to me like they're going to try some trick. Sure. Probably over at the jail, blabbing with old Dad Worth right now. Well, then what are we going to do? We can't just sit here and wait. I... That's exactly what we're going to do. Sit right here and wait. I don't shove it. If the masked hombre comes back, we'll be waiting for him. And I'll be ready for him this time. I got a personal score to settle with him before I knock off your sheriff, pal. Now, look, Dawson. I got it all figured out. The kid and I are going to hide in the back room. When the Lone Ranger comes back, you go right along with everything he says. The kid and I will follow. If my hunch is right, I think we can get rid of the Lone Ranger and Dad Worth at the same time. <laughs> A few minutes later, from all appearances, Jack Dawson was alone in his office. The Lone Ranger, in the role of the Trigger Kid, walked in. Hello, Dawson. Hey. Well, howdy, Trigger. Yeah, how's everything going? Everything fine. My job's about done. It uh, is? Well, what do you mean? I want you to come with me and see how natural the sheriff looks. You, uh, you mean you... Did the job? Come on, Dawson. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, I'm coming. It's uh, hard to believe he's out of the way. Uh, where is he? Right near the room. Come on in. Take a look. He's all stretched out on his cot, Deb. Uh, well, you did kill him for me. Isn't that what you hired me for? But you couldn't have killed him. I hired the trigger kid to do the job. You're not him. I... That's all I wanted to hear. Jeff, and you're not dead yet. Nope, I'm still plenty alive. Dawson, put up your hands. I was just doing a little acting, that's all. Now, wait a minute. You, you, you can't prove anything. You're... I know all I need to know. Now all I got to do is find that sneaking partner of yours. Drop that gun mask, man. Up the hands, Sheriff. What? 
right behind you. What's that? Better do as he says, Sheriff. All right. My gun's on the floor. Now, come around where I can see who I'm dealing with. All right. You're going to be mighty surprised. Rockwell, you cold cat. Ed, you, you got here just in time. So I see. Sheriff, you said you wanted me. Well, here I am. You low-down sneak. How you... easy, Sheriff. I brought a friend along who wants to meet you. Friend, eh? That's right. He's a trigger kid. A trigger kid? You can't do your dirty work alone, can you? Sheriff, dirty work is my business. I'm the hombre that's going to have the pleasure of putting you out of the picture. Rockwell, I'm warning you. You and Dawson are just inviting the hangman's noose. You can't get away with this nonsense and you know it. Shut up, you old fool. We'll do the talking. Yeah, hey, Sheriff, I've been looking forward to this moment for a long time. Before I take care of the lawman, i got a little personal score to settle with this masked man. Get it over with fast. There's plenty of time. I never hurry. It spoils the fun of doing a thorough job. Well, all right. Uh, have you fun if you must. You know, mister, when you and your engine pard tied me up, that was very embarrassing. Uh-huh. That's fine. Nobody does a thing like that to the trigger kid and lives. That's a broad statement. Sheriff, you told Jack and me to have a good alibi in case someone killed you. That's right. I hope you've got a good one now. You bet we have. We're going to kill you with a Lone Ranger's gun and knock him off with your shooting iron. What do you think of that? Mm. You're all figured out, eh? Certainly. You dirty sneaking owl hoots. You can't get away with a scheme like that. That's enough. I don't want no more talk out of you. Lawman always did get on my nerves. Here, here, we're uh, wasting a lot of time. That's right. Let's get it over with. Yes. Put him out of the way and uh, van moves. All right, all right. But first, I got to have a peek under this mask. Figure I wouldn't do that. I didn't ask for your advice. There's a man right behind you who'll change your mind. <laughs> That's an old one. Trigger, he's right. Look, it's that redskin. Oh, fix Look it. out, he's going to shoot. Stop. Good work, Tonto. That's one out of the way. Watch your mate. This is for you, Dawson. Oh, why, you mess fool. I'll shoot you. what? No, no, no. Let go of me. Drop that gun or I'll break your arm. No. I'll take his gun. That does it. Oh. Sheriff, you've got all three oh. of them. The job's done. By golly, I'm mighty grateful to you. I... Now, Kima Sabi. Yes, Toto. Plenty fun to come now. It sounds like we got company. Yes, come on, Toto. We're no longer needed. Uh-huh. Sheriff, what's going on here? Nothing now. It's all over. We heard shooting and thought you might be in a heap of trouble. Look, man. He's got three men in tow. Why, it's Dawson and Rockwell. That's right. Here, give me a hand while I lock him up. Uh, who's this other hombre? Hmm? Oh, him? <laughs> He's what's left of the trigger kid. Well, I'll be... You see, Dawson and Rockwell ain't what they pretended to be. I was wise to the fact that they was crooks. So they hired the kid here to put me in Boot Hill. Well, how in thunder did you ever round them up like this? Well, I... I didn't do it alone. I had the help of the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger?
The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day and thanks for listening.